Jupiter's moon Europa is a fascinating world with a salty subsurface ocean. The moon of Jupiter Europa is an intriguing planet with a briny ocean beneath it. The moon Europa contains a sea. In fact, its water content is double that of Earth. There is an ocean on Europa. In actuality, Europa has twice as much water as Earth. Water makes up 71% of the Earth's surface and is essential to life. Since there is so much water on Earth, it is difficult for people to understand why the rest of the solar system doesn't have as much. But that is the reality. Everywhere in the world, numerous locations have been examined for indications of water. NASA just announced that the James Webb Telescope has discovered an ocean on Jupiter's moon Europa in addition to water. The way that scientists view all of space has changed as a result of this incredible discovery. Join us as we discover more about this discovery and how it transforms science. Other planets are not like Jupiter. It is among the solar system's most intriguing large planets. With a diameter of 143,000 kilometers, it towers over us and is nearly 11 times larger than Earth. To put Jupiter's size into perspective, its volume is estimated to be more than 1,431 times that of Earth. It is actually so large that it surpasses the combined size of all the other worlds in our solar system. Its gravitational field is more than 2.5 times stronger than Earth's, indicating that it possesses a powerful attraction. With a gravity of roughly 24.79%, Jupiter's gravitational pull is significant because it creates its shifting atmosphere and intriguing weather patterns, including the Great Red Spot and its well-known bands of clouds and swirling storms. However, one of the most fascinating features of Jupiter is its enormous number of moons. Of Jupiter's incredible 80 moons, scientists have officially recognized 57 of them. The remaining 23 moons will soon also be recognized as official moons, although the International Astronomical Union still needs to identify and name them. Although Jupiter has a large number of moons, the four largest are particularly significant. The Galilean moons are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. A significant milestone in the history of science was reached in 1610 when Simon Marius and Galileo Galilei independently discovered them. The Galilean moons have piqued people's interest due to their historical significance and size. They are among the largest objects in our solar system because of their mass, which makes them larger than even the known dwarf planets. These moons are unquestionably quite large. The two Galilean moons that are nearest to Jupiter, Europa, and Ganymede interact with one another in an intriguing way. This indicates that their orbital durations are in a harmonic relationship with Io orbiting four times in the same length of time and Ganymede orbiting twice for every European circle. This gives Jupiter's moon system a more harmonic sound in a sense. Jupiter's moons are not limited to the Galilean group. It is estimated that Jupiter has 500 tiny backward moons with sizes as small as 0.8 kilometers and 100 irregular moons with diameters larger than one kilometer. These irregular moons frequently have uneven forms because their own gravitational pulls are weaker. This demonstrates the diversity of Jupiter's moon family. The size, makeup, and geological characteristics of each of Jupiter's moons vary. Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system. Among the moons, it is truly enormous. Because of this, its enormous expanse makes it a fascinating destination to visit and study. In Europa, however, things become more fascinating. Europa is the fourth largest moon of Jupiter and the sixth largest moon in the solar system, making it a significant object in the scientific community. One of Europa's most intriguing features is how flat its surface is. It is the smoothest solid body in the solar system due to its extremely smooth surface. This planet lacks the harsh topography and intriguing features seen on most of the solar system's planets, such as Mars. Europa's surface may appear smooth, yet it has some intriguing patterns. The tallest hills on the moon are only a few hundred meters high, though there are a few exceptionally tall ones. The delicate beauty of Europa's surface, which lacks large craters, is enhanced by this little rise. This implies that the geological past of the globe has been dynamic and ever-changing, but it gets much more intriguing. You see, one side of the moon is constantly facing Jupiter since Europa's rotation is tidally locked. One side of a moon always faces its parent planet, in this case Jupiter, due to the gravitational pull of two celestial entities. We refer to this as tidal locking. 
Stated differently, Europa rotates on its axis, ensuring that the moon's side is constantly facing the gas giant Jupiter. This is not the same as our moon, which always faces the sun. Europa has a distinct climate as a result of this occurrence. The leading and following hemispheres of the moon have quite distinct surface characteristics because one side of the moon is continually facing Jupiter. The leading hemisphere faces the direction of motion and experiences stronger tides as Europa orbits Jupiter. However, facing away from the motion, the next hemisphere experiences relatively weaker tides. Europa's core deforms and bends as a result of Jupiter's tides. The moon is continuously compressed and stretched as a result of these tidal pressures, which generates heat inside the moon. We refer to this as tidal heating, a major factor in maintaining Europa's geological activity and forming its distinctive features is the heating caused by the tides. Europa is slightly smaller than the moon of Earth. To everyone's amazement, it is believed to have a layered structure with a rocky mantle, an iron core, and a vast ocean of salty water beneath its icy surface. This ocean is believed to be 40 to 100 miles below the surface, which is several times deeper than the seas on Earth. The seas beneath the surface of Europa are believed to contain an incredible amount of water, roughly twice as much as all of the oceans on Earth combined. This enormous quantity of flowing water is crucial because, as we all know, water is essential to life. Because the ocean on Europa may be a nice area to dwell, it is a top pick for additional investigation and study. But how can we be certain that there is an ocean on the moon? To find out more and demonstrate its existence, Scientists from several disciplines have combined their observations and research. There is a worldwide ocean beneath the ice of Europa, according to data from the Hubble Space Telescope and later the James Webb Space Telescope. Utilizing spectroscopic data is crucial for understanding the composition, surface, and relationship between Europa and the water below. The light that Europa emits or reflects is meticulously examined throughout a spectrum of hues in order for this technique to function. This helps scientists understand the physical and chemical composition of the moon's surface. Scientists can determine that the moon's surface is covered in water ice by closely examining Europa's spectral signatures. Water ice, which displays the amount of frozen water present as ice crystals or ice grains, is an important component. The finding of water ice is significant since it raises the possibility of a subsurface water source. Tests using spectroscopy have revealed that the surface of Europa contains salts in addition to water ice. Although geological action or cryovolcanism may have carried these salts to the top, some believe they originated in the water below. In addition, spectroscopic studies have revealed the presence of organic molecules on Europa's surface. All living organisms are composed of organic molecules, which are composed of components based on carbon. Why is understanding the distinct spectral fingerprints of various materials so crucial? That gives scientists more information about Europa's surface, including its composition, location, and behavior. They are able to determine the prevalence of certain compounds and the spatial variations in their distribution. Instruments on spacecraft that pass over or orbit Europa typically take spectroscopic readings. By examining the reflected sunlight or heat emissions from the moon's surface, Scientists can obtain comprehensive spectra that display the distinct fingerprints of many materials. The composition and behavior of the materials on Europa's surface are then determined by comparing these measurements to theoretical models and laboratory experiments. Yes, but that's just the start. NASA's Galileo mission has also provided important information concerning Europa's magnetic field. This strengthens the ocean's evidence. These studies' findings indicate that a magnetic field surrounds the moon, indicating the presence of a conductive fluid within. The most plausible explanation for this conductive fluid is that Jupiter's powerful magnetic field reacts with an ocean of salty water to produce the visible magnetic signature. In order to determine the ocean's potential depth, width, and salinity, scientists have extensively examined the magnetic field's strength, direction, and variations throughout time. Additionally, it provides us with information regarding the movement and changes of the ocean throughout time, such as the presence of currents and their interactions with the ice shell above. In addition to all of that, scientists may use magnetic field data to determine the moon's composition and how it functions. It helps us determine the relationship between the water and the rocky core of Europa,
by providing information on the conductivity and composition of the materials beneath the surface. We can also learn more about the moon's geophysical activity, such as tectonic movements or hydrothermal vents, which could be brought on by the ocean's interaction with the moon's interior, thanks to the magnetic field data. And that's not all. In order to examine the surface of Europa and determine the temperature of the water underneath, thermal instruments and sensors are also crucial. In order to record the heat signatures and monitor temperature changes, these state-of-the-art instruments are required. This allows us to get valuable insights into the complex energy transfers that take place between Europa's frozen crust and its vast ocean. They can enhance their models and gain a better understanding of the movement and stability of heat within Europa's fascinating planetary body by taking detailed measurements of these thermal properties. These in-depth temperature measurements allow us to better understand the dynamic processes occurring under Europa's surface. Maps and surface imaging provide us with additional information about the ocean. By employing precise mapping techniques and enhanced high-resolution imaging techniques, scientists can obtain a clear view of Europa's surface. By closely examining these incredibly detailed images, scientists are gaining a better understanding of the intricate ridges, fractures, and other geological characteristics that may contain crucial information about the water. This is a crucial step in mapping Europa's enigmatic landscape. By meticulously documenting and sketching the locations and sizes of these rock formations, scientists may create intricate maps that unlock the mysteries of the deep ocean. With every new image captured and geological structure discovered, the intricate workings of the moon's innards become more clear. However, that isn't the most crucial factor in this case. Finding locations that future exploration expeditions might be interested in visiting requires careful mapping and imaging of the surface. Right now, we might be concentrating on using instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, but it won't be possible until we know everything we can from a distance before robots or even humans reach the surface in the future. By learning about them, scientists can decide which regions are most crucial for future study. For instance, they can discover locations with a lot of geological activity or where the ice coating can be thinner. These images will highlight the way forward for future journeys to Europa. In order to learn more about Europa, NASA is already preparing for experiments that will be sent there. One such much-awaited project is NASA's Europa Clipper. This historic voyage is scheduled to start in October 2024 with the aim of learning more about Europa. Finding out if the subterranean ocean might support human habitation is its main task. In order to perform around 40 to 50 near flybys of Europa, the spaceship will be orbiting Jupiter rather than Europa itself. By altering its flight path for every encounter, the spacecraft is able to survey nearly the whole moon and obtain precise measurements and data. The Europa Clipper project's scientists aim to determine whether Europa has any conditions conducive to life. Finding areas under Europa's frozen surface where life might be able to exist and flourish is the mission's main goal, rather than actually finding life itself. Experts now firmly believe that beneath Europa's crust is an ocean of liquid water. To determine whether the planet might sustain life, the spacecraft will conduct a comprehensive investigation. With a highly sophisticated scientific payload, the Europa Clipper mission is prepared to conduct an extensive investigation. The spacecraft will be equipped with a suite of advanced instruments designed to gather crucial data and open the door to more thorough investigations of Europa's innards and surface. These instruments will monitor the moon's surface temperatures, take precise measurements, examine the moon's magnetic field, determine the thickness and composition of the icy crust, and provide us with a comprehensive view of Europa's intriguing features. Essentially, all of the things we have been doing from a distance, but up close, during its 3.5-year mission, the Europa Clipper will fly by Europa 44 times at altitudes between 25 and 2,700 kilometers. With each flyby, scientists will have the opportunity to collect crucial information and get a better understanding of the moon's habitability, sometimes from a totally different perspective, and other times simply to supplement what they already know. Scientists want to learn more about this fascinating object in the solar system and discover what lies beneath the frozen surface of Europa with the help of all the information they gather from this expedition. The Europa Clipper Project holds great promise for answering fundamental concerns concerning the existence 
of extraterrestrial life and providing information about potential habitable planets in our solar system. We'll have to wait for the Europa Clipper to discover whether or whether a complete society is concealed beneath the ice. What are your thoughts? Could it be true? In the box below, write your response. To see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and give this one a thumbs up. See you at the following one.